guys and welcome to my video. My name is Larissa L and today we are going to be reviewing the new Huda Beauty Retrograde Palette. So if you want to see how I got this crazy eye look and what my thoughts are on this beautiful palette, please keep on watching. So now it's time for the swatches part of my video as you guys want the close-ups. So I'm going to start in this color and I'm going to be going into this beautiful cosmic color. So it's a pretty champagne with little glitters in it. Onto my arm like so. So that is the color Karma. Now the second color is this peach tone matte. This one is called, whoop, this one is called Utopia. Go ahead and swatch that color. The third color in the palette is this one here. This one is called Ultraviolet. And I'm just going to swatch that there. Now the next color is called Nebula. And it is kind of like this purpley, sparkly, chunky glitter one. That is really pretty. Then the one that we used or we're going to be using in today's look is one of the colors is mercury is like the probably my favorite color of the entire palette it is this beautiful like dark royal blue and i'm going to be going into that beautiful turquoise seafoam green color this one is called haze and it is a beautiful matte that is another favorite color of mine in the palette So guys, that is the first row. Now we're going to be going into the second row of the palette. This one is mainly mattes. You have one kind of foil glitter and then one probably micro glitter and the rest are matte colors. So we're going to head and going to start on this side and we're going to dig into the color Off Balance. Off Balance is that pretty color. Then the next one beside it is the pretty rose gold color and this one is called Galaxy. This is definitely another favorite. It's like a duochrome metallic rose gold pink. The color beside that is called Libra, which is this beautiful matte lilac color. Then beside that, we have this beautiful kind of cool tone taupe. This one is called Crash. It is also another matte. Definitely more on the mauve side. All right, guys. So then beside that, we have this beautiful kind of like bone color. This one is called Momentum. And I'm just going to place that right beside Libra. So that one's a little bit patchy. I'm just going to do another pass over. There you go. You can definitely see it's lighter, but that one's a little bit more muddier. And now we're going to go into that pretty kind of white, kind of chunky white one called Supermoon. So this one is called Supermoon. It is an iridescent color. It's got a lot of glitter in it. One side it looks white, the other angle it looks lilac. I don't know if the light is catching that very well. I'm going to do another pass. It's a little bit patchy. So guys, that's a closer shot of what the colors look like in the second row. Now we're going to go into the last row and I'm going to be starting with almost, it looks a little bit black on my camera, but it's not. It's kind of like a very deep, cool tone purple. This is the color called Vortex. So this one is definitely like a darker kind of plum color. And that's what that looks like right there. Then beside that one, we have a more purple tone. Again, this is one I'll be using today in the palette. In my look, this one is called Off Balance. Then beside that, we have a, another kind of glittery duochrome. This one is called Supernova. Then beside that one, we have Karma, which is this beautiful transition shade. It's not really brown, and it's not really peachy. It's kind of the perfect in-between. It comes off a little bit more pink on camera. And then beside that, we have this is probably one of my favorites. Um, this is called Gold Rush. Now this one is a really chunky glitter. It's best applied with your finger, but it's a really nice once it's on. The only thing about this is it has a little bit of fallout with some of the gold chunks, so just watch out for that. And then the last color in the palette is this 
really pretty color called Frazzled, which probably was what they were thinking when they came up and saw this color. So that is Frazzled. So that is what the last row of the Mercury Grade palette looks like. I know that that Vortex color is coming up a little bit more black, but it's actually a very, very deep purple. So that concludes the swatch segment of this video. And it was up close. I hope you guys liked that one. Which are your favorite colors that kind of stand out in this palette? Let me know in the comments below. And go ahead and click ahead to the tutorial portion of the part that we're going to get into right now. And then stick around until the end of the video for a surprise. It has something to do with Mercury Retrograde and Astrology. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm reviewing the new Huda Beauty Mercury Retrograde palette. Now, <laughs> I literally just took down all my lights because I was waiting for this to come in today and it didn't come in. I took off my makeup and it's already started. The Mercury Retrograde effect. Like it literally rang at like maybe like 6.30 and like ding dong. And I was like, oh no, it's here. I just took down all my lights and washed my makeup off. And after I was filming like all day, so um, so I wanted to get it up, so I put all my lights back up. Put on a, another base makeup for today. So this is what it looks like right here. And I also ordered this lip cream palette in Day Slayer, which is a really pretty nude. So let's go ahead and open up this beautiful palette, the Mercury Retrograde palette. So that is what the palette looks like right there. It is so pretty. I know it's upside down, don't worry, I will insert a proper reverse picture. In this beautiful eyeshadow palette, you get 18 different colors. You get shimmers, mattes, and metallics. So I'm going to start off by taking a clean blending brush. This is the JH32 blending brush, and I'm going to start off with the color Karma, which is almost this color right here. So just taking this, I'm going to be placing this into the crease. Oh. Ooh, that's a lot of kickback. Just be careful, there is a lot of kickback with this palette. I'm going to be taking this peachy tone brown and I'm going to start by placing it into the inner corner of my eye. The inner corner, the outer corner where the crease is. I'm just going to lay that down as a base. I'm pretty sure you all know what colors I'm going to go into. Because I'm really excited for this palette. So, so I didn't watch any reviews on this palette because I wanted to have my own opinion. The only thing I did kind of do some research on was the palette itself and she said that she's sent this palette back like three or four times because she wanted to really work on the formula and have it be like perfect and it was actually during a Mercury retrograde when they didn't know what to name the palette so she went on and was like what should you guys name this palette and someone's like ha 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 we should name it mercury retrograde because we're in a retrograde and it's actually um giving us a lot of trouble and she's like that's a great idea and they ended up naming the palette a mercury retrograde palette now if you don't know what mercury retrograde is it's in astrology it's when the planet mercury reverse it's all in theory, but it's not actually going, Mercury's not actually reversing its rotation, but in, in astrology terms, it's when the rotation of Mercury starts going back, I think, and Mercury has to do a lot with the communication, the kind of signing of contracts, it kind of looks after that whole little area, so when Mercury is in retrograde, they say that you have a lot of problems uploading, you have problems like with delays within your schedule, whether or not you're traveling, whether or not you're trying to upload a YouTube video, which I'm sure if I do not get this video up, it is going to give me a hassle because it already started. I mean, I took all my lights down, I took off my makeup, and then all of a sudden, ding dong, I'm here. So just be wary, guys. Mercury retrograde is supposed to last from, I think, Halloween until November 22nd, 2019. But on the positive side, it's also supposed to clean out your life, like starting over. It'll just show you things that don't serve you any longer, you know, relationships, business, um, things that maybe that are taking up your time that really are not worth your time. And it's just supposed to just start you over and kind of give you a clean slate. And Mercury Retrograde, I think, goes into retrograde a couple times during the year. 
So if you ever hear someone say, oh, it's Mercury, Mercury retrograde, you know, my transaction is not going through, my flight got canceled. But again, it's all in how you perceive the universe and what your beliefs are and whether or not you believe in it, it's totally up to you. I'm not saying that you should believe in it and it could be coincidence, it could be just a whole bunch of bad stuff happening at the same time, I don't know. But what I've learned from retrogrades in the past, I'm a believer. I'm a belief. And I'm going to leave it right there. So, again, it's all up to you guys. I think I'm going to go in with this color haze, this beautiful kind of turquoise color. I think I want to use that color. Mm, oh, yeah, I'm going to use that color. So I'm going to go into this brush. This is the JH34 blending brush. And I'm going to go into that beautiful teal color um, haze. Oh, yeah, that is pigmented. Just be careful, this palette is a little bit more on the fallout side, which is kind of typical of her palettes. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to lay this color down on my lid. This is really pretty. Okay. So this haze color is a matte. It's really easy to blend out and it does have pigment. But maybe not as much pigment as I want it to have. But we're just going to lay this color down as a base. Ooh, there we go. So yeah, you definitely need to gradually build up the color haze. And it goes really beautifully with the color Karma. This isn't really going to be a tutorial. This is going to be more me just playing with makeup. Because honestly, it is the most relaxing thing in the world when you get to play with makeup. You know, I think we're always in such a rush to get everything done in life. Sometimes you just need to do what makes you happy. So it's a little bit muddy, I'm not going to lie, a little chalky, but um, I think if you gradually just add layers, it'll pick up the pigmentation for that beautiful color there. I'm going to go ahead and buff out my crease zone. I'm just going to buff out my crease with this It Cosmetics buffer brush and just kind of blend those two colors together. I really want to dig my finger into the color mercury which is almost like a kind of a duochrome I don't know if the camera is catching that beautiful color right here and then I'm just going to start in the center of my eye with my finger because usually I find that's the best way to apply her shadows oh that's so pretty I'm going to go ahead and go into the other side of my eye over here. And the reason why I'm kind of keeping this spot empty, I'm not sure if I'm going to go in with the color haze again and maybe wet it to make it a little bit more intense. I think we're definitely going to do like a mermaidy eye here. She's pretty, guys. She's so pretty. A little Scott Burns coming out of me. I'm going to go back in with a little bit more of a tighter blending brush. This is a MAC. I'm going to go back into that color haze. I'm just going to pick up the intensity of that color just a little bit more into the inner corner. You know I'm going to go into this color called ultraviolet. I'm not sure. I'm just going to go into that color ultraviolet. And nothing is really picking up on my brush. Let me see. Oh, there we go. I want to add that to the outer corner of my eye. So it's a very iridescent, almost purple. It's really pretty. I didn't expect it to show up. I do wish it was a little bit darker, like a little bit more intense. I think to kind of tie it a little bit more together, ironically, I'm going to use this color right here. This color is called Off Balance. It's like this beautiful mauve shade. I'm going to keep using the same brush. I'm just going to kind of apply this into my crease a little bit. So that is a very pigmented color. That's a nice one called Off. So I'm going to go back in with that purple because I lost a little bit there. And I'm going to touch up the outer corner. It's probably what I should have done first before I laid on ultraviolet. I would definitely do Off Balance as a base and then put ultraviolet on top. Obviously, I will definitely be doing more wearable looks with this palette. This is just a first impressions. I just wanted to play with the really pretty colors. Which clearly I have because, um, color. So I wonder 
what this nebula color looks like. Let's swatch it. Nebula is this one right here. I know. I'm gonna take my finger. It's like this glittery blue. It's very. Why do I always wear black when I do this? Or white? Yeah, it's definitely glittery. Okay, so I'm just gonna take it and I'm literally going to place it right where my colors are changing in my eye, if that makes sense. So in between the blue and the green and then the purple. And I'm just kind of using that as a blending medium. What if I took this kind of like purple color, hot mess, and off balance? <laughs> the irony of the situation right now, I'm just kind of mix those two. Yeah, I'm just going to take those two together and just... There we go. Just apply that into the crease. So off balance and... You know what? Let's apply some black eyeliner and kind of see where it goes from there. I'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm back. So off camera, I just applied some Steel Stay All Day Liquid Eyeliner and some Kiss False Lashes. These are the multi-pack ones. They look like really full. I don't have a number for them yet. Kiss Lashes in the multi-packs. Get number 11. They're a lot easier to work with. These ones are a little bit too wiggly wiggly woo, if you know what I mean. So that's for the palette. I'm going to go ahead and now apply some lipstick and I'm going to go in with this Huda Beauty palette. This is their Cream Matte Day in... what's this called? This is called their Dummy Matte in Day Slayer. So it's a nice nude, which I like because we need a nude for this look because it's a little crazy. So it comes with the two cream lipsticks and the lip liner. Now if I can pop these out, that's going to be another story. Oh. So, the lip contour color is called Venus. Go ahead and line my lips. Alright guys, so this is the final look. This is definitely something I think I would wear. Uh, maybe out for like a night if I was going somewhere. Um, I'm not really into color, but this palette made it really cool to kind of make it all like easy. Um, they all are really nice to use. So let's get to my final thoughts on the Huda Beauty Retrograde palette. Now I think this is $67 um, Canadian is what it retails for or American. I'm not sure. You get 18 shades. You get nine buttery mattes, six high shine creamy metallics, one glitter powder, and two multi-reflective shadows. Build your base with the matte shadows, pick up metallics using a small circular brush and apply on the lid for a metallic finish. Build an extra layer using your fingers or a sponge for the extreme foil effect. Add some pops using glitter powder. Top off your look with the multi-reflective shadows for a pearlescent glow. Um, you definitely get that in these palettes. So let's go over the packaging. First off, packaging is so cool. Like, I love this kind of holographic rainbow effect. Her eyes look so real. Like, like if you didn't know it was me, would you think it's part of my... Probably not. Ooh. Like, I know. <laughs> so the name is really neat. I like the name Mercury Retrograde because it kind of combines the um, astrology side a little bit of history to when they were making the palette and all the problems they had with formulations which brings me to my next point after formulations but first let's finish on the packaging the mirror in here is bomb like I love this mirror I love big mirrors I love it when com I love it when compacts include a really high quality mirror this makes it really easy to look in and be like oh yeah I got that spot so let's go ahead and talk about the formulation. Now the mattes in here are really pigmented. They're really nice. There is a little bit of fallout, but the formulation is really impressive. Like I'm really into the mattes in this palette. I think they're great. Now um, I'm not sure which is supposed to be the glitter to powder. I think it could be the glit, the gold glit, which is kind of Pick it up your, with your finger and it comes up really nicely. Um, it is very messy though. It does have a tad bit of pink in it. It's like a rose gold. I love that color. I think I would just do, maybe one day I would do like this beautiful color right here, crash in the crease. And then I would do um, 
yeah i think i would do um karma and crash like in the crease and then i would take gold glitter and i would just put it all over the eyelid i think i might do that next for like my wearable version of this palette because you guys know whenever i get an eyeshadow palette i always do a follow-up video let's go over the kind of the multi i'm not even sure the color mercury is beautiful i am mean, like obsessed with this beautiful blue i love it i love the color nebula ultraviolet's a little weird i like i like it i think it's perfect it's like almost like a duochrome and it has little tiny glitters in it now if i were to swatch this white color this super moon it's almost like a pearl i don't know I, that to me is probably the it's not really doing it for me it's kind of like a duochrome it's really nice but it is kind of like flaky and I definitely think you need to apply it wet or with your finger a couple times it does cake up a little bit like glitch gold does um, with in terms of the fallout but the color and the pigmentation is really nice it's really really pretty and then for the shimmers like this color right here this galaxy color is this beautiful champagne like oh I love it it's got little glitters it looks champagne and it's another rose gold almost um, so the formulations of these metallics, the mattes are really pretty. The glitch gold and the, what's it called? Super moon colors are a little, like they're beautiful once they're applied. Just the formulation could have used a little bit more tweaking for my liking, but I guess it's really hard when you're doing these kind of like chunky, metallic-y, foily glitter. But if you want something that's different, that's on the market, that's really um, has a little bit of color, a little bit of nude, a little bit of mauve, a little bit of pink, a little bit of everything, but it's not too extreme, but it's still wearable, as you can see, because I normally never ever wear these colors on my eyes. I never wear color on my eyes, but it's really pretty, and I really like it. I don't know what they did in this palette to kind of make me go, oh, color. Um, so this is kind of, you know, hopefully I have this palette up on Halloween, so you can definitely call this maybe a mermaid-inspired kind of look on it. I don't know guys, um, I really like this palette. I definitely think for my first impressions, I give it probably a 7 out of 10. I definitely recommend you go and pick it up for yourself if you're a fan of Huda Beauty palettes, if you're a fan of this kind of stuff. Alright guys, now up to the surprise part of the video. I'm going to do a tarot card reading for each of the zodiac signs. So Libra, Scorpio, all that. And the reading is going to be for the, actually, the duration of the Mercury Retrograde. So I'm going to go and pick one card out of my little tarot card deck. One for each of the signs and we're going to just shuffle here. Now whichever card I pull is going to be the theme for the Mercury Retrograde for that sign. Now again, this is all for fun. General readings, they are not specific. You do not have to believe them. You can just, you know, we're just doing it for fun on my channel today. Um, and if it's something that you're really not into, you can definitely click off the video now. I do have another video on the Huda Beauty Obsessions mini palettes. So I'm going to link that up there now if you want to just take a look at those. Um, there's, that video was supposed to come up before this video, but I want to get this video up first because I just think that this palette is just awesome. Like, I love the whole kind of theme of it. So I'm going to draw the first card for the first zodiac sign. So the first card I'm going to draw for is for the sun sign, Capricorn. Okay, so this is going to be for Capricorn 2019. So for your Mercury retrograde, the card that jumps out at me is the mother of pentacles so the mother of pentacles is for capricorn and now generally um generally in other cards or traditional tarot cards there is no mother of pentacles there is a queen of pentacles um the deck that i'm using calls it the mother of pentacles so for capricorn you're going to have a really kind of positive nurturing at home warm vibe during the mercury retrograde it's going to be really all about taking care of other people cooking meals being nurturing it's definitely another card about um, prosperity so having a lot of kind of abundance and love and just being a really positive card in the deck um, it's definitely a woman card, so if you're a male watching this, you can also switch out the genders. It can be a gender neutral card, you can be like a loving dad, you can be, it doesn't even have to be a parent, you can just be somebody who's just very caring, that takes care of everybody, that makes sure everyone has everything, you know, that they need. So the Queen of Pentacles is also a card about, um, even though you're taking care of other people and that's who you are, like you're the 
one who everyone who everyone goes to for advice whether you're a counselor whether you're a teacher whether you're just a good friend whether you are a mom or a dad um it also asks you to look inside and make sure you are taking care of your mental your physical and your emotional health for yourself as well because as much as you put everybody other everyone else's needs before your own you need to make sure that you are doing the same especially the same for yourself especially during this time of the mercury retrograde um, because you know you're important too as much as you're trying to make sure everyone else is happy okay so that is for the capricorn okay and now we have the sun sign for aquarius so aquarius you are up next let's see what the cards say about you and your message for mercury retrograde is Whoop. okay so you have the six of cups so aquarius you are the six of cups so the six of so when this card pops up the six of cups in a reading during the next kind of two weeks over mercury retrograde the six of cups is kind of asking you to go ahead and relive your inner childhood memories Go ahead and become in touch with your inner child again like go out and play go do the things that made you happy as a kid and if you have kids you know introduce them to things that used to make you happy it also can represent a pregnancy if you are a woman um if you're having twins it could represent that it also just means see how the roots of the tree you can see it really clearly in this picture it just means about going back to your roots and letting allowing yourself to have fun again and not be so serious like you've been working so hard that maybe it's just time that you you know took a little bit of a break you revisited what used to make you happy because maybe you're in a situation where you have too much work or you're in a really difficult relationship or really kind of like in a place in life where maybe if you're just stuck just go back and think of what used to make you happy and it's okay to relive some good memories and just kind of you know go ahead and see where you want to go with your life and what used to make you happy and if it's still and if you have that same kind of happiness in your adult life if that made sense <laughs> So that's what the Six of Cups is for Aquarius. Okay, so the next sun sign we are going to do is for Pisces. Now Pisces, so let's see what lessons you're going to be learning during your Mercury retrograde. Your card is the World. Now the World Cup, the World card in Tarot means the completion of a cycle. So if you are you know going through something right now your cycle is kind of coming to an end whether or not that means um, a relationship has been over and that's ending um, a job you no longer like things that no longer serve you are coming to an end or if you've been working really hard um, to get this big deal at work or this big promotion or if you're working really hard just in general for some of your goals you're actually going to be completing that cycle and you're going to be getting closer to your goal you're going to be completing a cycle during the mercury retrograde now whether or not the world card is going to be positive or negative it depends on you and what your journey is in life because mercury retrograde cleans stuff out of our life that doesn't need to be there that doesn't longer serve us whether it's an ending of a relationship it's doing that so it can complete a cycle and the reason why you're completing the cycle is so the new things can come into your life that will be happy and positive whether or not it's work related relationship financial or you're just moving on to the next step of some already positive journey that you're already on so aries you have one two three four five six seven eight you have the eight of wands okay so the eight of wands means something that's coming into your life it means fast paced something is moving something is aligning it could mean that you are traveling it can mean change action i mean something over the course of the next mercury ret something throughout the course of the mercury retrograde in your life is going to be changing it's going to be shifting and it's going to happen really fast and it might just kind of take you by surprise if you're not aware of it it can also mean that right now you are like the lightning rod in this picture that you are full of ideas you are full of passion you are full of inspiration you're going to be go 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 and this card also asks you to make sure that even though you're going through a fast pace time in your life right now whether or not you're traveling whether or not it's a business trip whether or not you've got a baby on the way it means just to make sure that you slow down just for a second and just make sure that one step is completed before you jump on to the next step 
just so nothing kind of goes wrong for you. So just take a little extra time, even though you are full of the energy right now, full of abundance, full of creativity, to make sure that you are completing each step. And just going back and double checking your work because everything is moving so fast. So that's something you need to watch out for over the Mercury retrograde. So I hope you like that. That was for Aries. So let's see what the deck of cards has for Tauros during this Mercury retrograde. Oh, this card popped out. Now you have the Sun of Pentacles, but because in traditional tarot there is no Sun of Pentacles, there is a Knight of Pentacles. I'm going to tell you a little bit about that Tauros. So this card means that you are hardworking, you are productive, you have routine, and you like everything to be in order. This is also kind of the opposite of the card that we just had, where if that card is kind of more everything's fast moving. Um, the Sun of Pentacles is definitely about a slow moving progression so whatever you're going through or whatever you will be going through it's going to be slow moving but it's going to be a positive change that's going to be coming into your life um you definitely you're very hard working you like to do everything by the book you like to do everything in order you like to you know cross your i's and dot your t's and whatever is coming to you even if you are one of those people that don't have a lot of patience, this card asks you to have a little bit of patience because something big is coming your way. It's just not going to be moving at maybe a pace that you want, but it is moving at a steady pace. Like slow and steady wins the race. So something good is definitely coming your way. All right, guys. So that's what that card is for the sun sign of Tauros. So for the sun sign of Gemini. And your card, guys, is the strength card. Ooh, this is a good one. Okay, so Gemini, your card is the Strength card. And what the Strength card symbolizes or the message behind it is not a physical strength, it is an inner strength. So whatever difficult time you're going to be going through or are going through, you need to be able to know that you have the inner strength to deal with it. You are strong enough to get through whatever is going to come up in your life. You're going to have a positive outcome once you are able to look within yourself and get that confidence and know that you can do anything, you can handle anything, and you do have a support system around you that's going to be able to help you get through whatever it is that you're struggling to get through. The strength card is definitely about perseverance. It's about you know knowing that you are good enough, that no matter what you're going through, no matter what goals you're trying to achieve, whatever your struggles are right now, is that you will come out on top. The sun here is a positive omen. It means that you will triumph at the end of the day. But just know that, you know, sometimes it's okay to feel sad or have anxiety or go through whatever you're going through. But you have the inner strength to deal with it and you can find the confidence. The confidence is so key with this card that you can do anything and achieve anything and you will come out on top. So just have a little bit more faith in yourself and believe in yourself, okay? So Cancer, let's see what the cards have in store, what your message is for your Mercury retrograde season. Season is. So let's see what card you guys have. You guys have the Seven of Wands. So this card is all about challenges, competition, perseverance, just striving forward and knowing that you'll be able to pull through. This card says that you are a leader, you are strong, um, you are the type of person that likes to take, like, take challenge, that maybe you're in a position of authority, you're a supervisor, you're a boss. Um, whether or not you are the one that always has the idea in your friends group, you're the one that organizes everything, you take the lead. Now, this card is also a bit of a warning because others want to take your place. They want to take that position at work and what it means is about competition. People want what you've worked so hard to achieve. So just a little bit of warning during this Mercury retrograde. Watch out for fake friends. Watch out for people who want to get a little bit too chummy because they might have ulterior motives and they kind of want what you have. So whether or not it's your relationship, your lifestyle, your job position, just be aware and make sure that even though you're alone with all the bright ideas that nobody else will be taking credit for them. All right, Cancer, so that's going to be your message for the Mercury Retrograde season. Okay, up next is my Leos. So Leo, this is going to be your message for the Mercury Gray, Mercury Retrograde season. You guys are the Mother of Wands. So because there is no Mother of Wands, it is the Queen of Wands of traditional tarot. So this card right here is about confidence. This card is about being a social butterfly. This card is about being an independent woman. 
<laughs> or man what it just means that you have a lot of courage a lot of confidence um, you're always kind of the center of the tension when you go out um, it also is a card that asks you to get in touch with your darker side and that doesn't necessarily mean a bad thing it's definitely Scorpio season so you're definitely going to be getting in touch with a little bit of your bad boy or bad girl self during the mercury retrograde season and it's definitely okay to know that part of yourself it doesn't mean you have to act on it or do negative things it just means you can be a little bit more bold than what you're used to being the Queen of Wands is also about being somebody who knows that they have the inner confidence to kind of go ahead and meet their goals you know, ass up, guy out, get that promotion. You definitely just are uppy and you're a happy person. Um, and that's okay because you're totally like your lifestyle of the party. So during this Mercury retrograde season, this card means that just kind of believe in yourself more and know that you've got the confidence to do what you want to do. And don't be afraid to get in touch with kind of like your your inner self, your, your sexier self, the seductive side, the darker side. Um, it doesn't mean that you got to do darker, scary things. It just means that, you know, if you're always the positive person, you can say something that you might nor normally have the courage to say in a way that you might not normally say it, if that makes sense. So just know that whatever it is that kind of is like your lesser known side, your shadow side, that they might make an appearance. Okay, Virgo. So my camera shut off when I was doing your reading. So I'm going to quickly insert a reshuffle here. Um, I didn't even realize until I was editing that I didn't even get to show the card. So I'm just going to draw you a new card for my Virgos. So I have my tarot deck right here. And... Okay guys, so for Virgo, you guys have the Sun card for the duration of Mercury retrograde. So the Sun card is a yes card in tarot, so if you ever ask a yes or no question, it is also a positive card. It is the yes card of tarot. It is divine intervention. You can see the doves. And now we're going to get into a little bit more about the meaning of this card and what it means for your journey during the Mercury retrograde. Sun card is also means that not only is it a positive, happy card, it also says about you that you're going to be a really positive person. You're going to be in a positive place. You're going to be full of confidence. You're just going to be radiating and glowing happiness during this Mercury retrograde season. Or it's definitely something that you're going to have to strive for. So whether you're going through a hard time, it's also telling you that everything is going to be okay. Divine intervention because it definitely means that you have a helping hand on the way. Everything's going to be worked out. And now because this is such a positive card, um, good things are definitely coming your way, especially if you've been in a gloomy situation. It also means, um, especially for setting goals, that you will be very successful, that you're going to be creative, that whatever you're setting out to achieve right now, whether it's long term or short term, you will have divine intervention, you will have help, you will have support. All right, guys, so I hope that I know that this one's a little bit short, but because this card is just so powerful and positive and glowing, um, it definitely means you're going to probably have the best time out of all these signs for this Mercury retrograde, whereas Tauros and Scorpio, and I think it's Aquarius or Capricorns, will be having kind of the roughest time. All right, that is the reading for Virgo. Okay, Libra, so you have the Umber card, and the Umber card is kind of like a father figure card, whether or not you're male or female, and you're watching it, it actually relates to you being the rock, taking the lead, whether or not you've got to take on the responsibility because you're about to kind of go through a little bit of a rocky time. The Emperor means that you are all about logic, that you're going to be thinking with your thinking before you speak, thinking before you react. Or if you're a very emotional person, this card is asking you to think before you react, to be able to know that you can control what you say and how you react to a situation, even if you can't control the situation. Um, it's definitely about men in your life. Um, it's definitely a a masculine energy whether or not you're male or female it just means about kind of taking the lead and taking um, control 
It's also about creating routine and order in your life. So if you're about really chaotic and if you're all over the place and Mercury retrograde will be all over the place, it just means that you need to come up with a system to kind of keep your life in order, whether or not it's through your phone, your calendar, scheduling, um, making sure that you know what you need to do, make a plan and how to achieve it, okay? So that was the message for Libra for the Mercury retrograde. Up next is Scorpio and because this retrograde is in Scorpio, we're all going to be getting in touch with a little bit of like our darker side. We're going to be um, dealing with life. We're going to be dealing with um, death and we're going to be dealing with a lot of Peggy Peggy. So that's what Scorpio season's kind of more about. It's about kind of getting into touch with the the not so angelic side of you, like the darker side. You know, one side you have an angel, the other side you have maybe not an angel. I don't know. So for Scorpio, your card is the Hermit. Interesting. Okay, so the Hermit card is actually really kind of meaningful for Scorpio. For Scorpio. So for Scorpions, well, anyways, the Hermit card for Scorpio, since we're in a retrograde in your season of Scorpio, it actually means you're going to be doing a lot of soul searching, a lot of re reflecting, a lot of thinking about your life and where you want it to go. You're going to be kind of retreating a little bit more indoors, maybe. You're going to want to be spending more time by yourself, whether or not it's going to be journaling, meditating, um, just having a couple minutes to like, or a night to yourself where you just want to watch Netflix. The Hermit card is just about life and about thinking about where you want to go in life and what direction you want to take. So it's a lot of soul searching. It's definitely a spirituality card and it's kind of determining where you want your life to go and what's about to happen and everything you're going to do to prepare for that goal or that initial life shift that you're going to make. Okay, Scorpio, so it's kind of an intense card, but it's also a very powerful and positive card. Okay, so up next we have the sun sign of Sagittarius, which is the last and final zodiac we are going to be reading for. So Sagittarius, let's see what your message is going to be for the Mercury retrograde. Oh, Sagittarius, you have the lover's card. It's actually a really positive card. The lover's card may be, you might be entering into either, um, a new relationship you might be getting proposed to you might be thinking about something long term with somebody or you actually might just kind of be connecting with somebody on a friendship level so the lovers card is a really positive card in the zodiac sign it definitely means that you're going to be having something or somebody come your way it's two geese and they are flying i think they're canadian geese and it's definitely all about kind of maybe some divine intervention whether or not you believe that or not the lover's card can also signify healing it's about um you know having some inner healing it's about whether or not you're in a relationship or not and if you're single it's about kind of inner emotion or inner reflection and allowing yourself to heal whether or not you've been through a bad breakup a divorce or you've been through a separation or you've just kind of had a rough go the lover's card is also a card that signifies that it is okay to heal it is okay to let go of past relationships that no longer serve you so it's about a choice a choice in what you're going to believe in what you're going to stand for in life and um what that means is choices as far as you know you want to choose love you want to choose things that are going to make you happy, people that are going to make you happy, relationships that are going to make you happy. You want to choose activities and jobs and just overall things that bring you kind of happiness and joy if you are single and it doesn't necessarily mean somebody's going to be coming into your life but it definitely means that there is some healing to be done, that healing is on its way if you're not going to meet somebody and it's actually a really positive card and it's a really sweet card to end on. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching my YouTube video. I hope you enjoyed that little kind of surprise tarot card reading for your actual Mercury retrograde. Again, this is all just for fun. These are general readings. Um, everything is alleged. You control your future. You control what happens. Um, if you like tarot cards, if you believe in astrology, um, that's great. If you don't, that's also great. Um, I just thought it'd be really cool to kind of add that in with a makeup palette because tarot card reading and makeup are two passions of mine. And here is a video where I kind of get to merge the both of best worlds. So I hope you like this. 
Um, if you didn't, let me know. I don't know if I'll do too many care card readings on my YouTube channel. I'm going to probably keep it more like lifestyle, fashion, and makeup. Um, I hope you like the makeup look. It's definitely a kind of step out of the box for me. Again, I'm trying to push myself from and do some colors. So I hope you like this kind of colorful eye makeup. I'm going to be doing a, another um, video, a follow-up video in a week or two using the palette and I want to be able to do more of a wearable look because I guess not everyone's going to be into these super colors like this like I am but I just wanted to see what kind of cool stuff I could create using those really beautiful mattes and metallics that she has in her palette. So again I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to this video and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming videos and guys I guess I'll see you in the next one.